Okay, what's going on? So you just got one of these uh, movie boxes you've been hearing so much about, and this is your how to use it video. So first off, I'm um, going to show you it comes in this little kind of bag here. I actually take them out, program them fully, then put it all back together so it looks like it's brand new, but it has been kind of completely set up by me. So when you get it, it's going to have everything you need in here. It's going to have HDMI cord, power. Uh, this is your remote and also your antenna. Um, so when you set all that stuff up, I just kind of have one set up here. Um, you know, it just plugs in power there, your HDMI, you just screw in the antenna and just prop it up like that. Um, you know, just normal stuff like you'd set up a DVD player or Xbox or whatever it is. So there's that. Each one of these guys has uh, some USB ports on the side. I think there's a few on the back there too. You can plug in, which is what I do, and I strongly suggest you get one, a wireless mouse. There's the, uh, the Bluetooth receiver there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much everything you need to do for setting it up. So let's get to showing you how to use it. All right, guys, here we go. Time to watch some movies and some TV shows. So it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible for you. So what you're going to want to do is, first and foremost, you're going to want to go to your settings. You're going to want to go to either Wi-Fi or advanced Wi-Fi. I like to use advanced Wi-Fi. Click on this guy, and then you're going to want to connect your, your Wi-Fi. Just look for it in this list here, what your, uh, what your network name is. You're going to click it. And then you're going to input your password, and then it's going to connect, and you know it's going to connect when you see this little green Wi-Fi signal here. That means it's connected. Um, if you don't want to use Wi-Fi and you want to plug it directly into your, uh, to your internet with an Ethernet cord, that big phone jack, you can plug it into the back, and it's going to connect automatically. There's nothing else to do. But that's how that goes. So we're going to dive right into this once you've connected to the net, and you know you're connected here. You're going to want to click apps and the one you're going to use the most is this one right here it's called cinema hd it's this little ticket here it's right there and here you go tons of movies tons of tv shows it's very uh very easy to use very simple to use um it's going to go to popular or you can you know set it to trending or you know whatever's there it's uh it's 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 all there for you so what we're going to do first, we're going to show you how a TV show works, and we're going to show you how a movie works. We're going to pick a TV show, and uh, we're going to pick, um, let's say Big Bang Theory. It's really popular. Click on this guy, and then this picture is going to come down. You're like, oh, where is everything? you got to scroll down. All right? All the seasons are here. You just scroll down. So we'll pick you know, season one, and uh, we'll pick the first episode right here, the pilot. Now, you may notice... Older seasons of shows, like the first season and stuff like that, a lot of people have seen them already. So you're not going to have as many links. You're going to pick the season, and then it's, it, what it's doing is it's looking for all the different ways to watch the show. Um, the older seasons are going to have, you know, ways to watch it. It's not going to have as many possible ways to watch it, but as the new stuff, because the new stuff's what are we trading, but it's still going to be here. So, you know, you give it a few couple minutes, and it's going to put in the, you know, interest of saving some time we're just going to click this guy here once you do that you're going to want to hit play open with means you can open it with another player or with subtitles or whatever but we're just going to hit play and it's going to get this going here as soon as you do that i don't want to play it too much in case you haven't seen it you intend on watching it but i mean like that looks amazing quality so i'm just going to hit pause and right down here this little white line here that means it's already buffered a lot so you're not going to have very many issues watching this episode. But sometimes, you know, it's going to buffer. You picked a link that doesn't work great. So you're going to hit back. And what might happen is an ad's going to pop up. And if that happens, say it's really loud. See this little speaker here? You can click the speaker. And then once this little arrow here means you can, you know, just click past the ad. And then you're going to want to click this X. Sometimes you just got to wait for it and the X will pop up and then you click the X. That's all that matters. So that's going to happen every once in a while, but it's not going to happen during the TV show or the movie. If that happens, um, something might be wrong. You might want to bring it back to me or you might want to watch the video on how to reset this from scratch. 
Um, this is just a how to use video, but that shouldn't happen. It very, very rarely does if it does. So, but it's not going to happen during the show. So if that was kind of a garbage stream, you know, if you let it go for a bit longer, you're going to have a way bigger list and then you can pick from one of the other ones until you find yourself a good stream. You just keep going. There is no limit to how many you can pick. Just pick them all if you want. Um, and that's how that works. You just pick the season, you pick the show, you pick the episode and you're good. Uh, we're also going to show you movies really quickly. We're going to pick a movie that I know is uh, out. Um, a lot of movies, you'll notice, these are movies that are all kind of um, in the movie theater right now. Um, you're going to find the cam version where there's a guy sitting in the back of the theater, you know, recording with the cam. That kind of ruins the movie for me. If you're okay with it, that's cool. I mean, if it's a comedy or something, I'm sure high quality or high definition isn't going to make it any funnier. But, uh, you know, with these Marvel movies and everything, I'm sure you're going to want maybe a, a, a better quality. So it's really best to wait till the DVD comes out for these ones, but you don't have to. So when you click the movie, um, you're going to see a play button here. You don't want to use that one. You're going to want to scroll down. And like I said, since it's a newer movie and it's a lot more popular, there's a billion more ways to watch it. So I myself, I like to go with the highest quality one to start off. I'm going to click that one. You're going to click play again. And uh, I think I was just testing it out earlier. And uh, boom, I mean, started up really fast. Again, if this one's buffering for you, it's kind of giving you hassles. Just close it off, pick up one of the other ones. You know, looks great, looks crystal clear. Um, I'm not going to play this too much because I don't want to ruin it in case you haven't seen it. But yeah, that's how movies work. There's one step less from TV shows just to pick the movie, you pick the stream. And that's how that works. You keep, oh, and the ad pops up. So we're just going to silence it. Um, you know, it's a little countdown clock up here, but this little guy popped up here. So we're just going to close it off. We're going to close it off. Uh, again, sometimes that won't happen. Sometimes the countdown clock will happen. You have to wait for it to go down and just hit the X. The X may happen in any corner. And then you close off the ad. You know, it's eh, kind of annoying, but I mean, it, it's how they pay for this. And sometimes I've, I've actually found a couple of pretty fun games off this. So it's up to you if you want to watch them or not. So when you want to exit out, you just keep hitting back until this pops up. And you want to hit yes, because you want to exit the app. And that's how that works. Now, that's the main one. This is what I like to call the backup. It's called Terrarium. This was the number one app to use, and it still works great. I just right now find um, Cinema works amazing. Same deal. You pick the TV show. You pick up here, it says you pick the season, you pick the season, um, and all your episodes are up here. You pick the episode, and when you want to find the streams, you click the play button here, and same deal, it's going to find that list for you. We're not going to go through it now because it worked, that part works exactly like cinema does, but you know, play around with it. Um, that's how those ones work, and same deal with movies. You click up the three lines up here, your settings, you pick, uh, you know, click a movie, and instead of seasons, you're just going to want to hit the play button up here and it's going to find the list for you. You play, you pick one of the streams and that's how it works. Very similar to HD. And that's how pre-recorded movies and TV shows uh, work. You're probably going to use that one, I'd say 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes when you want to watch something like uh, an event happening on live TV, there's a couple different ways to do that. Um, so... Basically, with this one's called Mob Dro, you hit channels, and all your channels are here. There's just, just tons and tons to pick from. Like, they're just crazy amounts of, of channels. They feel all of them. Um, for argument's sake, we're just gonna pick. Uh, we're gonna pick CTV. Um, you know, hopefully, they're actually broadcasting something right now. The one thing about these apps are if this channel isn't actually broadcasting something right here, right now. It won't play anything when you're using a cable box. What's happening is it's taking a broadcast from another um, TV station. So that's what's happening now. CTV isn't really broadcasting anything. It's a little bit later, so I'm just going to close it off. Uh, we'll pick um, whatever global TV if they're going to just so you guys see how this kind of works. Um, I kind of tend to use this one as a bit of a backup myself. Um, like I said, it's pretty late right now as I'm recording this. I should have done this earlier, but, uh, you know, maybe see, I think I should have. Again, they're going to pick something. I'm not even going to bother with this one anymore. It's, uh, it's late. You know, when you get yours, try this one out. 
um, you know, earlier in the day when everything's going to be broadcasting for you. Um, however, I will show you the one that I prefer to use, which is uh, Next it's Swift Streams. Um, sometimes these pop up right away. Other times they take a few seconds. Uh, it's got sports. Again, as a backup, you're going to want to use Swift Streams more. It's got shows, which I personally like because you just kind of it just streams all these tons and tons of shows, right? Like Bob's Burgers, play that, and uh, it's just going to be streaming this show one after another. It's it's similar to Netflix, and once it shows up, you know, works pretty good, and it's just gonna stream Bob C. It's going to stream it just over and over. It's it's kind of fun to have something to play in the background. Um, this will have ads pop up as well. Same deal. You kind of just click the X or you wait for it to play through and then you click the X and that's how that works. Now I'm going to show you Swift Streams because this is the one you're probably going to want to use more than often. Uh, I find this one works a little bit clearer and the sports works a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, it's really late right now. There aren't any gains. So I can't, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, click out of there quickly because I don't know what I just picked there. Um, so let's say WWE, if there's anything being broadcasted on here. So if an ad pops up, again, you just hit back. And again, you got to be patient with it. That's uh, the name of the game when it comes to these guys. If it doesn't turn on, um, it's uh, it just means there's nothing being broadcasted on because there's no real sports right now. So that's all the sports, just tons and tons. When there's actual games on, there's just tons to pick from. However, I'm going to pick uh, a TV channel to play from because I know probably something going to be playing. Let's say on Global. So we're going to just pick that. going to click the X. We're just going to wait till the channel. Global playing something right now. So there it is, Global. And this is what's playing on Global right here, right now. But didn't you say the jury was 11? So I'm not going to ruin that show because I don't know if it's, uh, and there's that one. There's USA TV channels, which is, you know, tons to pick from all the good ones. You know, CNN's got news and stuff like that. Uh, again, I'm not going to kill too much time. You guys have all the time to play with this. As you can see, you know, it, it works great. Netflix, you just click on Netflix, sign in your account, and it works great. Um, so again, that's what you're going to want to use. You can also use... Uh, YouTube, play some playlists if you want. You can use uh, Chrome and just literally just surf. These guys are like little computers that you can um, pick uh, to surf stuff if you want. Um, you know, just type in the URL. I'm just going to close it off because I don't have, I'm not going to waste your time searching the web on something so easy. But yeah, so there's that. You have Play Store if you want to download more apps. You can go to this program here. Again, if you want to download other apps, if you want to download, if you have Amazon Prime, you can download Amazon Prime onto your box and watch that just like Netflix. You can download um, uh, Spotify if you have Spotify and just, you know, just like that. So um, I think these are all just different ways to watch stuff. Amazon, there's Prime Video. If you have a Prime account, uh, install that. By all means, play around with it. There's nothing on here that can't be fixed by a simple reset and just adding these back on. So yeah, so that's how that works. Um, this is Cody. Kodi is a great program if you know how to use Kodi. We're going to click on it really quickly. Um, it's uh, it, it, If you know how to program Kodi, Kodi is amazing. Uh, it's currently programmed right now. Um, Kodi gets very finicky uh, if it hasn't been programmed in a while. But it's here. Um, play around with it if you want. I mean, right now it's going to be kind of a hassle. I'm not even going to... Whatever, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get in there, but again, you're going to want to use uh, Cinema or, as you can tell, Terrarium. Those worked great right off the bat. Um, Swift Streams worked great. Mobdro, uh, I didn't really give you a good example of it, but it will work when you when you take it home and you give it a try. Um, yeah, again, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. I tried to keep this video as simple as possible because I know you guys just want to get right to it and start watching movies and stuff like that. So that's that. And final thing here, if uh, this is a little high, you're going to want to clear this. And if you're trying stream after stream after stream after stream, and they're all being choppy and they're all being glitchy, you're going to want to give yourself and try a speed test. So a speed test right here, speed test comes with it. Um, 
you're going to click it and it's going to turn on for a sec. As you noticed, when I was showing you the streams, they were turning on right away. They weren't glitchy. They weren't fast. So chances are uh, I've got a stable connection right now. Sometimes, you know, my internet goes down, but you're going to want to hit go. And um, I myself have a crazy fast internet connection. That's all I have. That's all I pay for. So I don't have any other cable. Um, you do not need one this fast. When you guys do a speed test, when it goes to purple, this is your uploads. Don't even worry about the purple. This was my download speed. Um, if you've got a speed of, I'd say, 15 to 25, that's decent. To be able to watch some decent shows. If you've got a speed of anywhere from like 30 to 50, that's more than enough. You'll be great there. However, if you do have a speed of, you know, 5, maybe 10, that's not great. Um, you might want to bump it up. If it's the only thing you use in your house for internet, you'll probably be fine with that. But if you're using your phones, if someone in your house is playing games online, probably won't cut it. However, if you're normally getting speeds of 25 to 30, maybe 40, and for some reason right now you're only getting 5 to 6, maybe 2, turn off your box, reset it, um, then it'll probably come back better. If it's still not better, uh, Reset your modem because your modem needs a reset and then you'll probably get back to the speeds you're supposed to be getting and That's how you troubleshoot some stuff So that's that and the final thing is if you want to add an app to your home screen You just click here. You can add, you know cinema if you want to pop that one on you Netflix or whatever I'm not going to do it um, If you want, you know, say you want to add Netflix to that one click back um, And there it is. There's Netflix for you. You just uh you know, or maybe you clicked it wrong. You just take your remote, and as you can see, it says press menu to delete this app. You hit menu, you hit OK, and oh, hit menu, and there you go, and it's gone. And then you can put something else there. So that, I hope, was short enough for you. I really wanted to give it as descriptive as possible without uh, bogging it down, but absolutely play with this, um, you know, there's no limit to how much you can watch, to how much you just go crazy and watch as much as you want. Um, I hope this uh, really helped you guys and let me know if there's any other questions. See you later.